Welcome to TK Tennis. Have you ever noticed how unique Carew's game is and how easy he makes it look? Well, that's because Carew possesses a few tennis superpowers that really stand out. I've been following the journey of Carew turning pro at 30 and climbing the rankings on the ATP Tour. And I doubt Carew would make a video praising his own game, so I thought it was a good idea to share my thoughts on how he does it. Additionally, since my journey in becoming a tennis YouTube creator is just getting started, honestly, I'm not sure what type of content people are interested in and what type of content I'm actually good at creating. So if you enjoy this video and my perspective, please like this video and consider subscribing to the channel. So let's get started and highlight Carew's three tennis superpowers. His first tennis superpower is something that you probably have already noticed and that he himself sometimes mentions in his videos, and that is his ball striking ability. Crew has exceptional hand-eye coordination and hits the ball as clean and consistent as anyone. It's quite rare to see Carew miss hit or shank a ball. So watch this clip to showcase his ball striking ability. All right, Carew's second superpower is his ability to control the baseline and force his opponents to cover more court than he does. They just run a lot more. And he does that by using precision over power and spin. Carew is always seeking to dictate the points from the baseline, and that takes time away from his opponents and it keeps them uncomfortable. And that makes them unable to dictate the points themselves. In short, his goal is to bully his opponents and force them deeper into the court. Andre Agassi was famous for this back in the 90s, but that relentless pursuit of owning the baseline is less common on today's ATP Tour. Watch this clip and pay attention to how he dictates play from the baseline and how his opponent does so much more running than he does. All right, Carew's third superpower is the most important, and it makes the first two superpowers possible, and that's his adaptive backswing. If you watch carefully, he takes a very measured backswing, unlike most players who attempt to take full backswings on every single shot. Carew simply initiates a smooth unit turn and takes an abbreviated initial backswing, and then once the ball bounces, if he has time, he'll take an extended backswing and take a bigger cut at the ball. But if he is rushed, his backswing remains measured and more compact, and he prioritizes clean contact, doesn't move behind the baseline, unlike most other players that will retreat behind the baseline, and they'll buy themselves more time to take their normal full and sometimes very loopy swings. And while their styles and form may look different, the most similar person on the tour that you can compare Guru with is Adrian Mariano, Italian player that plays with super low string tensions around 22 pounds. Both Adrian and Crew have similar styles of racket preparation. It's this adaptive backswing that actually makes the first two superpowers possible. Without it, he wouldn't be able to own the baseline and he likely wouldn't be able to strike the ball as cleanly as it does. So take a look at this clip and watch his adaptive backswing in action. And there you have it. In my mind, those are Carew's three superpowers and that make his game unique and are at the core of how he makes it look so easy. So the question becomes, are those superpowers enough and can he leverage them even more to propel himself towards becoming a consistent player in the ATP main circuit and play in 250, 500, 1000 events, or even Grand Slam tournaments? Thank you, Carew, for sharing your journey on YouTube with us. We're all looking forward to seeing how far you can take your game. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. 
and I'll see you in the next days.